Welcome to the new era of the virtual assistant. Hi, I'm your productivity coach, John Ruman, today with another quick productivity tip helping you to take your business to the next level. Virtual assistants, you probably have heard of them. They became popular after the book of the, called The 4-Hour Workweek. Many have really made people business, people's businesses so much more profound. Let me tell you what they are. A virtual assistant is someone who doesn't work in your office. They don't work in physical proximity to you. That you're not renting a space and they don't have a desk and you don't need to pay for a desk or pay for their computer or whatever. They have their own stuff. They work out of home. They may have an office that they work out of, but they're not working with you. They're virtual. They're from working from a distance. Some people sometimes all the way across the planet. That's a virtual assistant. So think of it this way. You want to grow your team. You want to delegate. You've learned how to delegate. Congratulations. One of the challenges is I like I need a graphics person. Big time. And this graphic person doesn't exist yet because I can't afford to pay a full-time graphic person. I I don't have enough need at this point to have a full-time graphic person. So what do you do? You hire a virtual assistant. A virtual assistant you could hire based on the task. So let's say you need 10 social media posts a month done. You could tell the person what you need, all the kind of good stuff, the details of the task, and pay by task. Imagine how wonderful that is because your costs are very controlled. You budget for it, you get to know and build a relationship with different virtual assistants, and you become one of 10 or 15 clients they have, or some have just like one or two. But the point is, you become their lead person. What does it allow for you? You build trust with this person, you get to know their strengths, their weaknesses, the things that make you want or not want to work with them. And the blessing is the overhead is minimal. You don't have to pay for the rent for the spot. You don't have to worry about them commuting to work. You don't have to worry about them wasting time talking to other people for hours. You don't have to worry about a lot of that. It's more just working with them. There is a downside to it because you don't get the interaction that you may miss. So there may be once a while a, a physical get together, physical meetup of everyone on the team, but many companies, people don't literally see each other for years physically. And from your behalf, think of it this way. You're, I'm going to just give you a pretend example case study. you you have a desire to grow your business and you're like, I need a graphic person, but I just need them for this three projects a month. You price it out and now you got a graphics person. Let's say you determine you need video. You need to make two videos a month that are this length, one's for advertising and one's for educational purposes on your website. You price them out, you get quotes, you get them done. Let's say you need someone who's a copywriter. Copywriter is a term for someone who writes sales language. You need someone to write out, I don't know, uh, four emails a month on this topic, roughly about this kind of stuff, and you have a copywriter to do that. You pay them per email or for, for, per the four emails they're making. You may have someone else who will do graphic, I'm sorry, uh, website design for you. So they're always updating the website with events you have or various things you have going on. The blessing is none of these people have to be on site. They all can be virtual. They all can be people that are able to work from their own home, the comfort of their home, the hours they like. You may request them to have a certain overlap with your availability, but the point is they're available when they want to, when you need their help, you can get it and you can truly build a ginormous team virtually. So it has tremendous benefits and over time, these people can become more and more like a really a team member full time. They're literally a full time member of your staff and you literally may not have physically met them. But you have a relationship, you know who they are, you know what they're about, you know some aspects about them and they really add a lot to what you have. A few things you need to realize, you need to become good at delegation. You need to become good at communication at job descriptions and task descriptions and setting up boundaries of what your expectations are for a project. Like all those things 
need to be mapped out. Remember, you can't go talk to someone, look over the shoulder. You have to do all this virtually. So this requires you to become a different leader than maybe you were before. And if you never had a team, well, welcome to the world of leadership. So with that, I welcome any questions, any comments, any feedback. What challenges have you had with getting a virtual assistant? Do you have a virtual assistant now? Leave your comments below, share this video. Thank you so much, I'll see you in the next video.